Yo, what's up, everybody? Mood616 here, and thank you once again for joining me here. All right, so um, I recently got inspired <clears throat> to start up a new video series. Now, this isn't going to be like a weekly thing. It might not even, you know, I might just, I might do one now, and then I might do one way down the road. But, uh, but yeah, I got inspired. I was watching uh, a fellow FrightTuber, DJ Boy 3275s uh, review of Macabre on the fright tube, I believe, a week or two ago. And uh, it just got me thinking because while I, was, while I was watching the review, I was, you know, typing comments and stuff, and I was thinking to myself, it was one of the best blind buys that I had ever done in my life. Uh, it was a movie that I, di I didn't know anything about. Uh, I saw it at the, the local video store, and uh, it was for sale, and I just, just grabbed it. It just looked interesting right at the back, and and grabbed it and watched it and was just absolutely blown away by it. So, which gave me the idea for this video. I was like, you know, why not do a video series of my favorite or my best blind buys of all time? Now, these videos are the videos that are the movies that are going to be in this in these videos are going to be ones that I literally just totally blind bought. You know, just maybe by <laughs> reading the synopsis and that's it. Like, I never they weren't recommended by anybody. Um, who knows, I might have a couple recommendations in here. I just didn't know anything about them. Um, but yeah, you know, a blind buy. You know, just something you had no idea about. So, um, I got five movies here that I chose for this episode uh, that it just came to my mind right away as, like, ones that I literally knew nothing about or even passed up a bunch of times and then finally just picked it up for whatever reason and then gave it a shot and turned out to be a gem, so. But... Of course, I had to throw in <clears throat> this one, uh, Macabre. This is a uh, uh, career, or, um, no, this movie is from, oh, I'm totally forgetting where it's from now. Um, but anyways, not really that important, but um, Macabre, you know, it's it's basically about these people that, uh, you know, uh, I think they break down, I haven't watched in a while, they break down or whatever. Um, uh, anyways, they, they get taken in by this young girl into this family and, um, she invites them over for dinner and then basically some crazy ass shit ensues. Um, but yeah, this one right here is just insanely full of fucking gore, blood, it's batshit fucking crazy. Um, yeah, it's just a really, really good time. Really, really good time, man. I fucking love this movie. Lots of kills, uh, really bizarre, really cool storyline. I don't really want to give too much away from it, um, but uh, yeah, this this blind buy right here strictly went off the cover. I didn't really know what to expect from it. It doesn't really say, you know, a whole lot on the back, um, but uh, yeah, this one right here was one of the first things, like when I was watching this review going, yeah, that was an awesome blind buy, so I highly recommend Macabre. This is, thing is fucking amazing. Uh, next up is a Canadian film that I completely blind bought one time based on the cover alone. I didn't even read the synopsis of this film. Uh, I f later found out... Actually, no, I knew it was Canadian because I think I saw the cover and it was... I just... It said Canadian. So, I don't know. But anyways, um, the cover alone was what gra grabbed my attention. I saw it was Canadian, so I picked it up. Plus, it is a werewolf film, and I love werewolf, werewolf films. So, grab this one, Werewolf Fever. Uh, it's a little short, independent film. This one runs about, yeah, it says about 66 minutes. It's really short and to the point. Uh, it's basically just about this dude that's working at this burger bar, and he goes out one night on the night shift to grab some supplies, whatever, gets attacked by a werewolf, turns into a werewolf himself, and then carnage ensues after. Uh, this is just a really fucking fun time. I believe the Tattoo Dorman actually reviewed this on the Fright Tube also, um, and I believe that he enjoyed it, so... But I highly recommend this one. I have recommended this one before, and uh, it's just a fun movie. Like like I said, it's short, so it's right to the point. There's really no dull moments in it. I love the setting inside the burger bar and stuff. It's pretty cool. And uh, fun effects, you know, practical effects and shit. And it's just, uh, it's just a really good time. I highly recommend Werewolf Fever. I know I recommended this one before, and people have got back to me after they said they watched it, and they said they loved it. So, But... If you're watching this or just hearing about this movie for the first time, definitely check this one out. Uh, next up is another one that I, I, I picked up basically based on the title. And then the title alone made me read the synopsis on it. I was like, 
the second I saw the year 1981 written in the synopsis, I had to do it because everybody knows if you follow my channel, I'm a huge fan of 81. And I'm talking about uh, Camp Slaughter. Uh, this movie right here, yeah, I love movies with slaughter in the title. So I read the synopsis and it's basically about these uh, this group of teens or later 20s or whatever. They, um, they get lost on this back road and they come across this camp. And basically what the camp is, it's the camp is trapped in a certain date in 1981. Um, and on this date, there was a huge slaughter. You know, a killer fucking killed all these people and shit. And they keep reliving the same day over and over again. And these, these people walk right into it. They know something's up because, you know, the way everyone's dressed, the way people are talking and shit. And, uh, you know, the, and, then, and then all of a sudden they see what happens. And then it just keeps happening over and over again. Um, so they have to figure out, you know, basically how to break this cycle and shit like that. Uh, this is a really fun movie. It's low budget. I just, you know, for a blind buy, I was just absolutely blown away at how, like, I'd never heard of this one before. Uh, being a new age slasher, I think this one came out in 2006, so it's relatively new. Um, just a really fun time. I mean, if you like slasher films, definitely check this one out. If you don't, maybe pass on it, but, you know, um... But I'd recommend this one. It was really awesome. Really fun stuff. Uh, next is a film that I bought right when it came out. I believe this one came out a long time ago. 2000, 2003 it says. Yeah, I remember buying this DVD right when it uh, was for sale, used in the movie store or whatever. I believe I got it at the movie store. can't remember. I think so. But anyways, uh, I solely bought it based, based on the cover and the name of it alone. Again, you know, I just, I really, really love to blind buy things, you know, just based on covers and synopsises and just knowing absolutely nothing about them. And this was a perfect example of a film that um, I didn't know shit about. And even like on the back, it doesn't really give you much away. But Dead End, uh, it's a bit, it's about a family that's driving to their family member's house uh, to go spend Christmas Eve with them. And uh, I think, um, I haven't watched it in a while, but I think the father may... I think he tried, like he almost falls asleep on the road. They pull over and then they see a woman with a baby or whatnot. And then just some crazy, crazy shit happens. Now this movie is really actually kind of a head trip, mind trip. You know, it it seems like it might not make a lot of sense, but it kind of adds to the flavor of the film. Uh, I do need to revisit this one, but I remember just being blown away by this. Like just loved it. It was so different and just kind of weird and bizarre and, and shit like that. So... But yeah, Dead End, if you like, I mean, it's basically like a road horror film, is what it is. I'm a huge fan of road horror films. Uh, I know JP Double Shot J is also, if you're a fan of road horror, definitely give this one a shot. It's just weird. It's different and weird. So, uh, yeah, I recommend this one, Dead End. Very cool film. And last up for this uh, first episode, I'm going to make these, try to keep these episodes under 10 minutes, keep them quick. Um... Yeah, so this one right here I reviewed on the Fright Tube, and this is actually a film that I passed up over and over again. I remember seeing this one all the time on a few websites that I ordered from, and it was always really cheap, like three, four, five dollars, brand new. And I just kept passing it over um, for whatever reasons. And then finally one day I was just buying shit up, and I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna pick that film up." And it's Cemetery Gates. Now, I reviewed this one on the Fright Tube, so if you want to see a full in-depth review of Cemetery Gates, uh, go check out the Fright Tube. I can't remember what week it was, but you'll find it there. Um, it's basically about this uh, these scientists that um, get robbed. These people break into this laboratory, and they uh, they steal this Tasmanian devil. And the Tasmanian devil goes fucking apeshit, kills them, and escapes into the wild. So it's them trying to, you know, hunt it down and before it just, <laughs> before carnage, like, completely ensues, uh, this movie is fucking fun, man, it's a great creature feature, uh, lots of gore, lots of blood, lots of deaths, like, this movie has over 15, between 15 and 20 deaths, I think it, I think I actually counted, I might even have said in my review how many there is, so go check that out, because I can't quite remember, but I believe I even counted, because there were so many deaths in this movie, but lots of blood and gore, uh, just a fun fucking time. If you like creature features, this one's definitely right up your, would, should be right up your alley. Now it says from the producers of Boo. Now I hadn't seen Boo until after I'd seen this. I eventually bought Boo and that's a really good fucking movie too, actually. Really enjoyed that one. Um, but, uh, I guess I could probably even throw that into a blind, but I didn't really know anything about that one going into it either. Uh, but Cemetery Gates, I highly recommend this creature feature. 
it's fun as hell, man. It's, you know, I've watched this one four or five times since I've got it, and I gotta say, man, it's right up there with my favorite creature features of all time. It's just, you know, it's low budget, but it's not ultra low budget. It still has lots of gore and blood and just fun shit, like really <laughs> some pretty cool deaths in this one, I gotta say, so. Yeah, to recap there, so the Cemetery Gates, uh, Dead End, recommend this road horror film. I uh, recommend this slasher, uh, Camp Slaughter. Uh, Werewolf film, um, Werewolf Fever, this is a really cool Canadian film. And Macabre, this is, uh, I don't really want to give anything away, but it's, um, it's you know, it's a different subgenre of all these. And I just realized I totally did pick, like, pretty much five different subgenres of four. I did not intend to do that, but uh, it's pretty much how it worked out, so that's kind of random. Um, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try to do these as often as I can. I mean, like I said, the movies are going to be completely random, just ones that I really enjoyed. So, uh, yeah, if you liked it, you know, leave a comment. If you've seen any of the films, let me know what your thoughts are on them. I'd love to hear the feedback. And, uh, yeah, thank you uh, for joining me and subscribing once again. I really appreciate it. Peace out, homies.